Now to a story most would call a miracle. A 29 year old mother to be goes into cardiac arrest, lives to tell the story, and she did it all while being 34 weeks pregnant. Um, my name's Brittany Little. Um, at the time of my heart attack, I was 29. Um, my heart attack happened on November 3rd. Um, and my heart attack was the cause of a spontaneous coronary artery dissection. And at the time, I was also 34 weeks pregnant. Um, prior to me having Nova, I was working as a foster care social worker. I also have two sons, Jay and Josiah, um, 12 and 7, and I'm also married. Uh, my name is William. We've been bringing them together for 10 years in March, and she's my wife. Pretty much healthy, no family history of um, heart disease. Um, I didn't have any diabetes, high cholesterol, um, high blood pressure, um, none of the things that are associated with having a heart attack. On November 3rd, we were supposed to go have dinner with my mother and everyone was in the car waiting on me. Um, as I was coming out, I realized that I could not really catch my breath, um, but I thought maybe it was just because I had just walked up a flight of stairs, um, and also I had already been experiencing shortness of breath with being pregnant probably since my sixth month of pregnancy. They got in the car, she complained about being sh short of breath, and I could see she was starting to panic, and she started to get a little irate, so uh, it, may, it may be a tad bit different this time. When I got to the cath lab at the hospital, they had spoke, spoke with me and was telling me that she had coded a few times and uh, they had a shock her heart. So the extent of what was going on was more serious than what I had thought it was. Another doctor comes and says, we may have to choose between her life and saving the yeah. baby's life. I remember hearing the doctor say she's coding. I remember being shocked twice, um, but by this time I had already been shocked three times. <laughs> I remember telling the nurse that uh, I didn't think I was going to make it. And she, she like literally got my face and said, you're going to pull through. Don't talk like that. You have no other choice. You've got kids to go home to. She asked me to hold my breath um, and she shocked me again. I did not get to see Nova for a whole day um, because I was still in ICU and she was in NICU. Um, so I didn't get to see her when she was first born. Um, I didn't get to hear her cry. This has changed my life as far as what I stand for. Prior to this, all I knew as far as advocating was foster care, but now it's about being a survivor of heart attack, of a heart, having a heart attack, but specifically SCAD. I'm a SCAD survivor. First, I would certainly like to thank God. Um, I do feel like this experience has brought me closer to Him and brought my family closer to Him. Um, I would like to thank all of the Doctors that have been involved, nurses, my community, my family, my friends, um, but most of all, outside of God, um, I would like to thank the American Heart Association um, because without their research, experience would be different. I feel like it would not have went as well as it did. Um, it's unknown to me, um, but to this organization, it's not, which has provided me some comfort to know that 
there are people wanting to know why, wanting to know what can we do.